Hey guys, it's Haps, and in today's video, we are back with the Unicorn Pack, and I'm wondering if you remember this moment. Can we get it over the line? We've got a couple of hearts, though, so we've got a couple of attempts, but the earlier the better. Wait, there's a three squad? What is going on here? Oh, 27 mana. What is, what is this craziness? So many stats. Wow. Okay, fair play. I quite like that build. <laughs> Hopefully I can replicate that at some point. And that is exactly what we do in today's video, or at least a variation of it. It is kind of crazy. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. If you do, maybe like and subscribe. But with all of that said, let's jump in. So I quite like this setup. Um, oh, we get to snipe you, which is good. And we survive. Okay, nice early win. We'll take it. I also quite like the sneaky egg, but I think these work well together. We'll bring the sneaky egg in as well. Roll. And we'll add that to you. So you're going to gain mana from Alchemides onto Warg. Warg will then snipe. Plus it'll have the mana. So there's the first snipe. Then when you faint, there's your second snipe. And we've got enough for the win again. Okay. Hopefully we get a level up. We don't. I don't think I'm going to level this up. So we're going to sell this and we just take... We'll get some extra weakness. Bring in you. Roll. Okay, I think I'm... I mean, we'll do both of these and roll again. And hold you. Ooh, Thunderbird. We could run some kind of mana build with Warg at the front. I think that's what we'll do. I think we can run Warg at the front and we can just put mana onto Warg and we can just try and snipe the opposing team. Plus they're going to have a bit of weakness with the Bargus at the back as well. Okay. Oh, we lose. That's not a problem though. Let's level. I'll take the level. Um, add this Thunderbird in here. Roll it. Honestly, I'll take the level here first. Hold you. I mean, you are better than... I mean, we could just we could just do this and bring this in as well. That's a lot of mana going onto the warg. Uh, I think... I, I, honestly, I think... I don't think we'll hold it. I think we'll just hold the Thunderbird for now. The Thunderbird is so strong. Like, the fact that this does adds three mana... It's so, it's so early. Like, a tier two that allows you to get three mana. Okay, some big snipes. And there it is. We will take it. Um, okay, you're gone. Honestly, I think I'm going to take get rid of you and bring in another Thunderbird. Roll. Roll. Okay, I'm not going to take any of these. We're not jumping. Um, nothing here. Roll it again. No, nothing here. I would like a level up on you if I could. I mean, we could play this in here. It would be better than the Alchemides. Because you're going to gain the one. This would... Yeah, I think we do this. I know we passed this up earlier. But now it just makes a bit more sense. So Warg is just going to get a couple of extra mana. In fact, it's going to get loads of mana here. 14 mana. There's the 14 strike. But I don't think we've got enough. We don't have enough. We're going to have to pivot from Warg eventually. Uh, let's add this to you and roll. Nothing mana related there. We're not going to take you any further. Just keep rolling for now. There's a Thunderbird for the level up. Spend mana to remove health. Uh, that's a level up as well. Okay, lots of rolls. So more mana going on to Warg. Oh, we got hit hard. But we take you down. Do we have enough? No, we don't. Okay, that's down to two. But I think we can pivot. I think we can pivot into something good here. So we'll level you and you we now have a choice we can bring werewolf in it's not an even friend summon give it one attack one health choose one i mean we could choose a little bit of chaos but i want to do i'm going to do this and we're not going to take these we're going to roll it and spend mana to summon one pet with a plus one attack and plus two health per mana that is what oh we got the rock as well wait okay this is what we're going to run we're going to run this, and we're going to pivot away from the warg. We're going to bring that in, and it's going to summon a pet that's going to be kind of crazy. 
But for now, can we get through this one without losing? It would be good if we could. I don't think we're going to be able to get through the mine at all. Okay, we go down to one. But then this is it. This is our chance. You go. You go. We bring this in. And we'll bring this in. And we're going to... I mean... Spend mana, summon one pet with plus one attack and plus two health per mana. Okay, so we might as well keep pushing you. Roll it. Roll. And then roll. And then roll again. And then we'll send it like this. So you're going to get lots of mana from this one. This one... Oh, we should have done... This one may go onto here. But if it goes onto here, then great. But if it doesn't, then... Okay, 23 mana. Look at it. It's a 2341. Oh, it's kind of crazy. And there it is. Right, the turnaround's here. Can we get it over the line from here? Let's add you. That is a level up. And we're just going to roll it. That's pretty big. Wait, the problem we have here is when this goes to level 2, I think it summons 2. So we're going to need a space in the squad. Okay, it goes up to 12, up to 19. Okay, the 1938. Gonna take double damage twice. Gets it done. Okay, we go to five. We need to combine these Thunderbirds at the back because we're gonna level the U. So we need these Thunderbirds at the back to join because we need a space. Ultimately, we need a space here. Give the nearest friend a head. So we just do this. Uh, we could bring you in, but that means that our space is not gonna be there. So let's roll. That's great for us. Uh, and we'll roll again. There's a rock. There's a chocolate. Roll and roll. Okay, we'll send it. It might be that we have to pivot away from you. Um, because it, this one really does depend on the number of rolls. But 23. Oh, look at it. This is, this is pretty much the build that beat me in my f first uploaded video. When I had nine wins, I was I was just about to take it down. I saw three pets and I thought, you know what? We got this in the bag. And then they, they pulled this combo out. So we're seeing if we can get it. See if we can get this one live. Wait, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to level you. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to hold this because that would just be stats across the squad. Now, in fact, we're not going to we're not going to waste any time doing that. We got some rolls. The give one pet mana. So we can just straight up give you mana. You're not going to give much this turn. But we just gave you six mana. Okay, so if we can get you to three, we might be able to survive off of these down the back here. Okay, 2142. Is it enough? I mean, it's, it's definitely enough. That takes us to seven. We're hanging on in there. We just need to keep leveling these up at the back. If we can get you to three as well, that will be huge. Uh, there's nothing here for us. Roll. That's a big level up. Um, not going to take these either. Let's roll. Looking to level you. I uh, don't think I need... I don't, I'm not going to buy any more mana for now. I'm just going to keep rolling. And we're looking just for this as a level up. Rolling is not the worst thing either because we know that we're going to get a larger amount here. So give the nearest friend ahead plus three mana for each roll this turn. We had eight rolls. Because it might be that we pivot away from Rock or the Thunderbird. And we just roll. Because 42. I mean, if we can get it to 50, we'll have two 50-50s. That is ultimately what we're looking to try and achieve. But we need to get you to level 3. So let's push that. Let's do this. Roll it. Roll again. Can we find any more levels? The rolls are good for us. Obviously, there it is. Literally got it next turn. Roll and roll one more time. Because you're giving... I mean, we might actually get rid of rock. That's probably what we'll do. We'll probably sell the rock. It goes up to 43. Actually wild. Okay, that is eight. Can we get this over the line? Um, we're going to level you like this. And I'm going to sell the rock. Because now we need to have three spaces. Um, and roll. And I, I kind of... If we could put some extra mana on here, that would be great. Roll and then roll again. We don't. I mean... 
I don't think we can summon any more. <laughs> so I'm not going to put that. Uh, and I don't really think we need to put this either. I think we're just going to run this. Maybe put you at the back just in case you get... No, because we don't want anything to interrupt these summons. So I'm actually just not going to take this at all. Um, you're, we're just going to roll the three so you give more to you. So we're going to roll one, two, and three. And we're going to send it. So we get more from you on here. I think it's seven times three. So it's going to be 21 plus, what is that? Nine, 30, 31, I think. And then we spawn three with 31 attack. Okay, you heal up, but we take you down. And honestly, this build is kind of crazy. It is kind of crazy. We had a slight variation to the one that beat us in that very first video because we ditched the rock and we kept you. But honestly, this there are so many wild builds and i said this in the last video and so many of them are broken but hopefully you guys enjoyed this one if you did maybe like and subscribe but thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one